Hi, good morning. I'm Tiara, and you're watching Verses of the Day with T. Today's verse comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 2. But before we get into the initial reading of God's word, we pray. So, let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Lord, we trust you and we praise you. We appreciate you, Lord. We know you are a May waker. We know you are a miracle, still in the miracle-making business, Lord. We know you are a healer, a forgiver. We know that you are our Father. Please continue to mold us and shape us into the sons and daughters you called us to be. Please continue to use us. Lord, Father God, use me to unpack lives in a major way. Anoint me to speak. Anoint those on the other end of the message to hear. Lord, we love you and we praise you. We just want to say thank you. Amen and amen and amen. All right, y'all. Good morning. I am chipper today because it is officially... Dun, 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 dun. I was going to say pricey season. I know somebody watching is probably like, pricey season? That's a contradiction to... What she's doing with the Bible study. But yes, I am both spiritual and religious and all combined in one. I know that God has the final say and I know that God is in control. So whether I like horoscopes or tap into that, that's my personal business. But for those of you who don't know about horoscopes and don't care about Pisces season, it's two weeks into my birthday. So I am... Just trying to get myself excited because I deserve to be celebrated. But right now we're talking about God and I'm trying to help grow and glow in Christ and build up his kingdom and be a representative. So let me represent Ephesians 4 2 says, always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Woo! Nobody's perfect, but you're perfect for me. It's a song lyric, but the thing is, we have high expectations of each other, and nobody's perfect. You got to be patient and, and understanding of other people the same way you want people to be understanding of your flaws and of your areas of improvement. It says, always be humble and be gentle. Listen. We are a very talented group of people. We all have our our talents, our attributes and things. That's your spiritual magical power that nobody can do it like you. Nobody is you. But you got to be humble and gentle with it because I learned from the hard way. The Lord giveth and the Lord can take it away just like that. So... You want to be humble with it because the same Lord that bless you with those looks, those gifts, those talents, those opportunities, he's the same one who can pull them back if you're not using them for good. Remember, God don't bless us to keep it all in here. He blesses us so that we can be blessings to other people. He blesses us so that we can in turn do it and return to someone else. The whole point is that he wants all of his children to succeed. He wants all of us to be wealthy and successful and happy and fruitful and all that other good stuff. So be humble. If you bless, you got a little extra sprinkles on top of you. A little extra, a little extra something special. Be glad in it and be humble and be gentle and use it wisely and use it to bring attention to God and and um to bring uh honor to his kingdom because he can snatch that stuff back. But be patient with each other, make an allowance for each other's faults. None of us are perfect. We're perfectly unper imperfect. And the goal is to find people who help you to be a better version of you and to want more and to improve. You don't want to bring be with brown people that bring out the worst in you. You want to be around people that encourage and motivate and uplift and inspire and all that other good stuff. That's what I try to do anyway. Now, whether it's only two or three of y'all who it helps, or not, it's still helping me because I'm re talking through the word. I'm reciting it. I'm reading it once. I'm saying it out loud. I'm reciting it. So it's getting into me. But I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And 
I just want to say thank you. Let's keep growing and glowing in Christ together. I know it's rough out here, but troubles don't last always. And let's just keep manifesting the lives that we want because it's possible. You have not because you ask not. You have not because you believe not. I believe that everybody watching under the sound of my voice is blessed and highly favored. And we will see the desires of our heart come to pass. Amen. I love you, and I just want to say thank you. I'll see y'all soon.